Many offensive greats at A&M were able to reach their lofty status because Luke Jokel was elite at protecting them. Jokel was one of the best in Aggie history on the offensive line. He took pride in his position. Uh, he knew that he was the quarterback's blind sign. He lived his life, he worked his tail off every day so that he, the quarterback never had to worry about that guy. Uh, Luke also took it to the next level where he tried to punish the guy he was gonna block to, let him know that he had to deal with Luke. He just made that position, being the protector, just very important to him and prided himself every single day to being the best. He's always loved the position. He's played the position from a very young age. And I think the biggest thing about Luke is, I've heard him made a, make a speech to young football players, and what he stressed was, if you're gonna do it, make it very important to you. And playing offensive line was always very important to Luke, and he worked at it hard. He was all Big 12 in 2011, then cleared the path that took the Aggies into their first SEC season. Against some of the nation's best in the trenches, Jokel was flat out better. He was the SEC Offensive Lineman of the Year in 2012, was All-American, and won the prestigious Outland Trophy, given to the nation's best interior lineman and long revered as one of the highest honors in the game. That was a great night. Um, you know, I didn't, I really didn't expect it. I knew Luke had a great year, but there were a lot of other great candidates, and when his name was called, it, it, it was a special moment. I don't think Luke's a guy that did it for trophies uh, or for the accolades, and I think no offensive lineman does it for accolades. I don't, that just doesn't really go together, being an offensive line and being a celebrity or getting trophies. I, I, I don't know if Luke even knew what the outland was before that actually happened, but to be so good at offensive line and be the top at your position, it's definitely special, and watching Luke win that was incredible, uh, and he definitely earned it. After the memorable 2012 season, Jokel was selected with the second overall pick in the NFL Draft. Elite on the offensive line and into Aggie lore tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, Hall of Fame inductee, Luke Jokel. As you uh, probably heard from my dad and brother, I am your uh, typical offense line lineman and I do not like getting my name called because if I was, that means I was doing something bad. So, uh, but uh, I'll keep it brief. Um, first off, any good offensive line, lineman, it comes down to you have to have a great offensive line. And uh, the guys I played with were freaking incredible players. Going from Jake Matthews at right tackle, Cedric at right guard, Patrick Lewis center, Jarvis Harrison left guard, those guys were incredible players. Um, we kept each other accountable in the off season. We made each other work hard. We got each other better. And then when we were in season, we did the same thing. Um, you had to do your job and you had to do it well. And uh, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have gotten to where I was without those guys. So all thanks to them. Um, secondly, I'd like to thanks, thank the committee for um, the Hall of Fame Committee and the Letterman Association for in inducting me into the Hall of Fame. Um, so cool, what an honor. Um, it's so cool also to be inducted with Johnny, two of my teammates, Johnny and Mike. Um, they're studs. Uh, everyone saw what they did on the field. They were also great teammates. Um, Johnny, you knew he was gonna do whatever it took to go win the football game. And as an offense lineman, there aren't many positions in any sport where you play with your back to the ball. It kind of makes no sense. And uh, I held that with pride. I'm like, I am a support. I'm the support system for those guys carrying the football. And so Johnny, he, he was my guy. And uh, he was a great player. He did whatever it took to win. And then Mike Evans, I don't know if you guys know this because you see him score touchdowns, but as an offensive lineman, again, the dude bullies secondary. He bullies defensive backs, and he blocks his tail off. And so as an offense lineman, again, man, I can't give them enough respect because he, he gets after it in the run game, and you got to respect that. But um, moving on from football, I'd like to first thank my wife, A&M, and the seasons here, and turn around the program, and, 
and all that was a great thing about A&M, but the greatest thing about A&M was uh, I met my wife here, and uh, she's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. I've got two beautiful kids with her. She's the greatest mom and wife a guy could ask for, so thank you, Cameron. Uh, secondly, I'd like to thank my parents. Um, they're both Red Raiders. I grew up a big Texas Tech fan, I'm sorry. But the greatest thing they ever did was bring me to Kyle Field on a recruiting trip. And once you get to Kyle Field, it's just nowhere in the entire world, whatever level is the same. So uh, thank you all for bringing me here. Thank you all for being the support system. Um, thank you all. I've, I've always kind of described my mom as the perfect kind of mix of caring, loving, and then uh, tough and hard A. And uh, she was... <laughs> always that for me and then my dad was the he taught me offensive line play from peewee football and uh not many fourth graders first year of tackle football are learning hand placement go find the breastplate that's your steering wheel <laughs> tight hands low leverage all that kind of stuff so got to give thanks to my dad on that um the next thing is uh my twin brother matt he was in the video uh don't know if you guys know this but we're really close um, we took every class in college together. Uh, we were always together. We'd run into people at Northgate, and they're like, I, I, I see you guys on campus, and there's always this big one that looks just like you right next to you. <laughs> and so we're like, yeah, we're always together. But um, he's my best friend. He's kind of, we compete nonstop. To this day, we still compete. He's one of the hardest workers I've ever known. He's taught me how to work. Um, still, now that I'm out of football, he shows me what hard work looks like in the professional world, and I try to compete with him in that, and so thank, thanks, my brother Matt. Um, the rest of my family, the rest of my support system, brother, sister, uh, in-laws, Jim, Susan, gr grandparents, I've had the most amazing support system throughout my entire, my entire kind of football career, my entire life, and that's been an absolute um, blessing. Um, finally, I'd like to thank coaches. Coach Sherman is who recruited me here, and um, he was an offensive line guy. Uh, I've, I think I've referred to being an offensive line a million times in the speech, but that's who I am. That's what I pride myself with um, as. And uh, Mike Sherman recruited me here, and he sold the, the dream of turning around A&M and making it special again and, uh, you know, I feel like we did some really good things here. We had, he brought in some really good talent. He brought in really good linemen. And uh, thank you, Mike Sherman. Sorry, I'm talking a little bit longer than I was expecting. Uh, this is kind of it's crazy. But uh, lastly, I want to thank just Aggieland, uh, College Station. Every single time we drive up six, we live in Dallas now, and we're driving south, and we're going to six and you know exiting off university and just right when you get in town we have our two young kids with us we have a three-year-old boy and a almost one-year-old daughter and there's just this special feeling as we are driving down to university going into the campus and I hope we're we're working on brainwashing them right now <laughs> they're going to be Aggies my wife's an Aggie this is a special place the 12th man nothing like it I'm already putting a football in my son's hand, and it's the greatest thing ever. And uh, thank you very much. This is an absolute honor. Um, that's all I have to say is thank you.